barbershop conversation guys feel free hit the oh damn feel free hit the subscribe button and um september 28th save the date august 25th backpack giveaway and um uh today at 7 p.m on ticket tv you may want to check us out it's gonna be an epic show today we're gonna have some fun anyways man i just want to pull eddie hearn's whole car real quick eddie I'm in my Tesla, Eddie. Eddie. Hey, yo, Eddie. <laughs> I'm in my Tesla, baby. You know, I got rid of my Bentley for two Teslas. You remember that, Eddie? Eddie Hearn is one of the worst despicable people ever. You know why I know? Eddie Hearn is that nigga. Eddie Hearn is that dude. If me and Eddie Hearn play basketball one-on-one -on -one and I beat him, you know what he gonna say? Let's play football. At least remember I beat you in Madden? <laughs> Eddie Hurd. Eddie Hurd is deplorable, man. He is one of the worst human beings, character-wise, on the faces of Earth. This nigga tucked his tail and ran from me. Nope, nope, I'm not giving you an interview. Eddie Hurd, let me tell you something. Interviews with me is worth more than a million views on IFL TV. I can guarantee you that. Why? Because I'm in America, Jack. I make an impression on American fans. IFL just gives us information. LDBC, um, I, I, my job is to get the information and I disseminate it to my brothers through my channel, right? They have their core audience, I have my core audience, and everyone else has their core audience. We are emotionally invested because we are the streets, right? No matter what street we live on, right? <laughs> right, Terrence? <laughs> but anyways, as I digress. So, I said all this to say, Eddie. If you need to borrow some money, Eddie, I'm not here for you. I just want to let you know I got money. I can't believe this motherfucker said, we not, the conversation wasn't about money, Eddie. The conversation was about your integrity. It's funny how these how these quote-unquote wealthy white men always want to look down on me. The same thing I had with Sam Smith that one episode when I said, I'll bet you $20,000 Deontay Wilder and knock your dude out. And he looked at me like, <laughs> same thing Eddie Hearn did. They have a sense of entitlement. They're elitist. Eddie Hearn looked at me and could not believe that I'm worth more money than him. Could not believe that I can make a greater impression on the American boxing fan than him. He couldn't believe it. And I did it the white man's way. Went to college, white picket fence, all that. You guys know the story. I did it the white man's way. But the moment a man says, fuck you, white man, I'm going to do it my way. I believe in me. You either get down or lay down. Either way, you're getting down. All right? And Eddie Hearn couldn't handle that. Eddie Hearn couldn't handle that I am as intelligent, if not more intelligent, than him. Eddie Hearn couldn't, uh, couldn't handle and or understand to speak the people that I carry with me to these fights and these interviews are more intelligent than he is. Can pick his ass apart. I asked him, when did you know you're a clown? Uh, uh, the 30, the, 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 the 36 hours. You knew, more, you knew before 36 hours. I spoke to someone in the UK. I spoke to someone in UCAD, UCAD, UK, whatever it is. You know, why did I take this way back? I should have took Lassie. I mean, should have took Labrera instead of Lassie. In the but Eddie, you're the king of deflection. The reason why he mentioned that uh, I had, what, 14 residencies? Because he couldn't handle, he couldn't understand that I was just going to attack him on his integrity, on how he's been lying to the boxing fans. I hope Oscar Rivas sues your ass out of boxing because you don't deserve to be here. You have no regards for a human being's life, right? And when I get home, I'm going to prove to you that Eddie Hearn is a liar as it relates to his stance on PEDs. One of my subscribers reminded me I have the interview. I appreciate you. Thank you for sending it to me through Instagram. I genuinely appreciate that. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how Eddie Hearn is just a, a deviant liar. I didn't say a flat out liar, he's a deviant liar. This nigga took his three, he probably made about $300,000 on that fight. 
right? Probably about 300,000, 200. They even make a million dollars. They only sold 12,000 tickets and you got to pay out. So he probably made about two or three hundred thousand dollars. Got two or three hundred thousand dollars worth more than Oscar Reeves life. You understand what I'm saying? They already done took his tickets, ticket scalping scheme away in the UK, so he can't do that. He tried to do it in America, but he realized it don't work over here like that. You know what I mean? And, and, and it's just, uh, it's just disgusting, man. All right. And Eddie Hearn, tell your father to call my beautiful queen, the mother of my children, my best friend. Tell your father to call my, to call her Dr. Hawthorne. You hear me? Eddie Hearn, from this on, from this point on, you, you call her Dr. Hawthorne. I know you ain't never met her, but I'm studding up on you right now, as my boy Black Fight fan would say. Dr. Hawthorne to you, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever going to interview you again, Eddie, because you ran. You ran like two guilty three-year-olds putting their hand in the cookie jar. Uh, that was a cowardly act this week, Eddie Her. Cowardly act. You couldn't sit in the line of fire and be a man? Be a man about it. Don't go, don't go take the air out of the football when you get down by three touchdowns because it's not your ball. Don't do that, Eddie. That's cowardly. That's cowardly. Don't go, don't go around a, a group of friends and 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 realize that your boy girl is prettier than yours. So you start talking about the ugly girls he used to have sex with. That's that's what Eddie Hearn does, man. That's the type of character he has. You saw that. I kicked his ass in an interview. This motherfucker said I was homeless. Eddie, I paid one hundred four thousand dollars for this car. I'm not, but I would. I'm 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 keep it real. I would sleep in this motherfucker the night of the fight and drive my ass back to LA to save $170 because we all know Saturday night hotels in Vegas is expensive. I'm not going to sit and say I wouldn't do that. I still, as Deontay Wilder said, I still know the price of milk. I still know I'm, I'm working and living for, for my grandchildren and my kids right now. Every dollar, every penny counts. But Eddie, when are you going to have integrity? It's not about money when you're dealing with integrity. It's not about that money, all this shit that I have, don't make me the man that I am. The man that I am gave gave me the opportunity to build what I'm what I'm creating right now. The inside of me. As uh uh I heard 78 talk about this, the things you don't see. The things you don't see. The things you don't see is the reason why I flew on my own dime to Dallas. The things you don't see is the reason why we have a band of brothers online about to put your ass back on your, on the Nina and kick your ass back out of America. You're already you're already a clown. Like you already are a laughing stock. And now you're about to be brought up on trumped up charges because you wanted that two or three hundred thousand dollars in your pocket. That wasn't even a million dollar payday for you, Eddie. <laughs> Dillian White only brought 12,000 people, man. You had to discount the tickets to get that. Come on, man. Come on, Eddie. So from now on, I want you to call... I want you to call the mother of my children, Dr. Hawthorne. Okay? Alright? Dr. Hawthorne. Alright? Dr. Hawthorne. I'm going to put my missus on you, man. I'm going to put my missus on you. That's what I'm going to do. It's no need for me to do it, you know what I mean? Like I'm sunning you, cause I'm more intelligent than you. I have more, I have, I have greater integrity than you. Greater, in, it's not about money, Eddie. It's not about money. That's what these UK people, Sam Smith, thought the same thing. It's not about money. The money don't make the man. The money. Please understand me when I'm getting goosebumps. Please understand me when I say this. If I get if, 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 if I give a man that lacks integrity, low self-esteem, a million dollars, or if I give a man who has great self-esteem, high integrity, and has a purpose in life, the million dollars is going to be gone. And the one with integrity is going to turn that million dollars into five million dollars over a decade. I'm telling you, man. It's not about money, man. People always want to say, well, if I had... 
if a nigga ever tells you, if I had a million dollars, I would do this, don't ever have a conversation with him again. There's no reason to invest in him. There's no reason to believe in him. He thinks money is the sum of all his problems. Don't ever in your life, I'm gonna say this again, if a nigga ever tell you, man, if I had a million dollars, I would do this, there's no point in having a conversation with him. Because if your work ethic ain't worth a million dollars to you, if your spiritual equity ain't worth at least a million dollars to you, what you living for? You're wasting air if you don't have no purpose. You're wasting air if you don't believe you're worth at least a million dollars, man. Yeah, I, I enjoy having a little bit of money. I enjoy a little bit of successes. And I always love throwing it in white people. I, see, see, this is like an ideal situation for me because I, Eddie brought this upon himself. This is an ideal situation for me to mush Eddie Hearn's face with a million dollar with a million dollar bill. Mush him in the face. Oh man, ain't nothing like it, man. Ain't nothing like it. When you can look at a white man and see him crumble before your eyes and realize he's not even half the man that you are, it's nothing better. This nigga done lied for a year and sometime since uh, it's the one year anniversary probably. At last June or July, they had their unbelievable um, um, unveiling. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh man, it's just... It's just incredible, man. It's in, it's incredible, man. Eddie. That was my alarm going off in my house. I got a camera system, Eddie. That was my alarm going off. Telling me that the mailman probably just came with somebody. I didn't get a chance to look at it. Eddie! <laughs> so, Eddie's the type of nigga that I'll put my address on. Find out he will dig and claw and put my address and give it to somebody to post on social media. He's that type of nigga, man. He, he is. He's cowardly. And people say, why you didn't tell him to his face? I saw a white man crumbling before my eyes. I saw a white man in desperation. You know how good that makes me feel? Knowing I don't need him and I can watch him just decompose like throwing water on a gremlin. Don't you know how, how good that made me feel when he called me a clown? I swear, I was sitting there laughing in my spirit. Laughing in my spirit. Now, if we on the street, I I, I would have ran up on Eddie or did some shit. Win or lose, I would have ran up on him. You know what I mean? It's like calling me a nigga. You know, I ain't gonna let no white motherfucker call me a nigga. You know what I mean? And this is just a beautiful thing. So, Eddie, I want you to call her Dr. Hawthorne. All right? Call her Dr. Hawthorne. And you lack pounds of integrity. I'm gonna prove to you when I get home today, I gotta edit these videos out. And I'm gonna prove to you guys why. Eddie lacks integrity and consistency with his word. He lacks integrity. He's a loser. He lost. Matter of fact, Eddie, you lost. The American market is ours again. You're just visiting. You're just basically panhandling. You know what I mean? The only way you're going to get fans is if you take them to their hometown. Ain't no way you can show up show up to a blank city and, and sell a fight. You're going to take Tevin Farmer back to Philadelphia. Who else you got? Andrade back to Rhode Island. That's it. That's it. Give away free Dunkin' Donuts and tickets. And uh, the only thing, and, and the irony about this whole thing is, you've only had success in three black markets. Philadelphia. I mean, you, you've only had success promoting black fighters. Philadelphia, Tevin Farmer, Demetrius Andrade, Rhode Island, and Maurice Hooker in Dallas, Texas. You try and do that shit on your own. You try and do that shit on your own. It ain't going to work out for you. You tried Kansas City, it didn't work out for you. You tried this Mexican card out here uh, at the Forum, it didn't work out for you. You've only had success. A level of success is from having, promoting white fighters. You know what I mean? So go ahead and live your best life, Eddie. Because your best life ain't better than mine. Your best life ain't better than my brother's, man. You out here panhandling. You out here panhandling $19 at a time, man. That's what you're doing. We did this shit from the mud, man. It's not what you can see that makes the man. I told you, Eddie, I, I, I say this many times in my videos. Are you the man that will show up on the 31st with the rent or the mortgage? If you ain't, you wasting there. That's the type of nigga you gotta be, man. Eddie Hearn is not even half that, man. Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn gonna make excuses. Eddie Hearn would feed his side chick before he feed his wife. He's that type of nigga, man. He's that type. He's that type of nigga that would feed his side chick before he feed his wife. I'm telling you.
I know this. I see it. I saw it in his eyes. I know a man when I see a man. I got all men have a spiritual kinetic energy to a man that's doing his shit. That's out here doing that's out here doing the right thing, taking care of his family, working, being a man when it's time to be a man, bullshit when it's time to bullshit. You know what I mean? Read between the lines, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, his children will never go hungry, and his woman will always have shelter. His all his woman will always feel protected. Eddie Hearn wife probably thinking about Americana right now. <laughs> Anthony Joshua or some shit like that. Uh, Kel Brook. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, man. I'm about to go. I had a flat tire. I'm about to see the tire behind me, Eddie. I got a flat tire. So I got to go take it to Tesla. This is the, um, the dummy tire they let me use. So uh, I got to take this back. Eddie. See, Eddie's so dumb, he don't even know what I'm making reference to. Well, why should he, right? Because he calls Chicago She-Town. So, why should I expect nothing from Eddie? <laughs> Eddie, 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 Eddie. <laughs> All my real niggas know that joke. So, uh, have a great day, Eddie. And from now on, when you make reference to me or reference to my family, I almost G-checked you in that moment, too. I I kind of slid in a kind of, I don't even know if you got it, but I kind of disrespected you a little bit in that moment, but you didn't even get it because you're not as intelligent as I am, right? So I probably went over you and your boy's head, but Deontay Wilder's going to knock out all your fighters. And um, we're just going to live our best life. But, but I want you to call. I want you to call her. I want you to call mine. I want you to call my queen, my 23 year best friend, my soulmate. I want you to call her Dr. Hawthorne. You hear me? Because a real nigga like me put her through med school. That's all I got to say. It's not about money, Eddie. It's about integrity. It's about integrity. It's uh, just take the tire. It's a spare tire. Oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah. That's it? That's the only reason? Yeah. Can I get proof that I dropped it off? Cause I don't even want to pay. All right, perfect. So Eddie, peace, Eddie. It's about integrity, Eddie. It's about character. It's about. Huh? Can I get proof I dropped it off? I don't want y'all motherfuckers calling me back saying I owe money on it. Don't worry, we won't. You sure? Yes. All right. All right. You sure now? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. But I did take your bed down. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Because you know, you, you go to Tesla, they got a, a, a million moving parts and shit. The next thing you know, you get a call in 30 days saying you ain't turned the shit in. And they charge you $7 a day, $10 a day for a tire that you turned in months ago. You know what I mean? So, anyways, man, I'm off to the charging station right now. Eddie, see how you got to travel all across the world to make $50,000, Eddie? You see how more intelligent I am? You got to travel all across the country to make a little bit of change. You done aged 10 years in the past. Dude, have you seen the lines in here? You see how old you've gotten, Eddie? I, I, I got to son this nigga, y'all, so y'all got to bear with me, y'all. I normally don't make videos like this, man. I, I, I'm, but you know what? When you looking at your perceived oppression in the eye. You see him melting like an ice cube on a 95 degree day. You see this nigga melting right before your eyes. It is so much joy. It is so much pleasure. He don't, you, 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 you clown! <laughs> September 28th, Eddie, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have three or 400 people down in LA teamed up. LDBC, my brothers, new media. We gonna, we gonna show up and show out. Right, we're gonna have about three or four hundred people here giving back to the community of Los Angeles, California. It's gonna be a beautiful thing, it's gonna be a beautiful day on our own dime, man. We're not out here panhandling for nineteen dollars at a time, dog. That's what we're not doing. All right, you out here panhandling, begging people for nineteen dollars to support your cause. I ain't I ain't asking for 
not a dime. We they doing this because they love us. They buy tickets because they love us. See, you the fool. You the fool. The zone got you running around town for nineteen dollars. Just think about how how foolish that sound. They got you running around here trying to get nineteen dollars a person out of people. Nineteen dollars, dog. Nineteen dollars. I'm gonna drive in my Tesla. Go charge the car. Drive by a few of my properties, make sure everything is good, and go pick up my son at 3:30 and live my best life. That's what all I'm gonna do. What you gonna do, Eddie? You over there stressing? You over there stressing, trying to find a location for Devin Haney, trying to find a cheap undercard fighter because you can't afford it. You don't have the subscription base. You over there stressing out about September 13th, September 14th, right? You ain't got enough money in the bank. Barbershop conversation, man. Shout out to my brothers. I'm, I'm gonna quote 78 Sports again. It's not what you can see that makes the man. That's a, that's a visual celebration of the man. The integrity, right? The heart, the will, the desire. Eddie Hearn to buy his side chick dinner before he... Eddie Hearn will buy his side chick a meal before he buy his own wife. Guaranteed. That's the type of nigga he is. Barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. Eddie, if you need to borrow money, you got to go ask Bob Aaron. Go ask one of them. Because y'all basically... You know what I mean? Eating off each other right now. Go ask him for some money. Go ask him. You ain't getting shit off me. Nah, you can't get off on me. You ain't getting a ride on this hoe. You can't get a ride at this one. <laughs> what that nigga black fight? Man, I love y'all, man. Barbershop comment. I had to kill Eddie. I had to kill And I got time in the car. I had to kill him. Barbershop conversations. I'm gone. Peace.